So this is a very um, basic tutorial on how you might go about making something like this without having to use booleans or the knife tool. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm going to press Shift and A to put down a mesh cylinder. Now I've got mine set to 64 vertices by a radius of 0 0.5 and depth of four meters. You, you know, cause that kind of works for me, you know, what I'm doing at the moment. First thing I want to do is rotate it on the X axis. It doesn't really matter. It could be the Y, it could be the X, whichever one, you could even do it like this. You know, the principle is the same. So RX 90 degrees. Okay, come into edit mode, choose that face by pressing three on the keyboard, clicking that face and then coming around here, holding down shift, clicking that face X to to delete then F to delete faces. Okay, so let's get right into the good stuff. I'm gonna go into the right view like so, and I'm gonna press Control R to put down a cut there, left click, right click. And it's very um, simple. You can do it in edge mode or vertice mode. I'm gonna do it in edge mode. Now, if we try to rotate this on the X axis, see what happens, R X, sorry, R X. You know, it doesn't quite work. It, it's not doing what you want. We want a nice, clean um, angle that we determine ourselves. So to do that, it's quite easy. Press Control, Shift, Alt, S, X to rotate it in the X axis. And as you can see, it rotates it exactly where you want it to be. I'm gonna put mine about there. Going from a very sort of Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader look. Gonna go into G. Make sure my snaps are off here. G, Y, move it across. You could also use the gizmo. I like to use the gizmo a lot, but it can sometimes get in the way. Now that you've done that, um, we can go ahead and go into the face mode. Alt Z, click and drag over all of these faces. Alt Z is pretty much x-ray mode. I think it's that by default, but I've got it set to a hotkey anyway, but I think it's Alt Z by default. Um, so making sure that I have these ends selected, press X and then F to delete that. Now what I want to do is we want to come out of um, X-ray mode, go into edge select mode, which is this one here by pressing two on the keyboard, click that edge, come out of gizmo because again, it's in the way. Hold on Alt, choose that one. And I'll quickly demonstrate to you why using the shell modifier for this would be a bad idea. If I apply a, sh a shell modifier to this, and it's the same thing with, sorry, Slidify. Um, it's the same thing with 3ds Max. If you apply a, if I were to, to apply a Slidify modifier to this, the end would become, give it maybe a bit of a depth, bit of depth there. As you can see, the end becomes very sort of um, weird. It's the same with 3ds Max. Even if you turn on even thickness, it doesn't even make a difference. Um, so I don't use that. We're gonna use just the simple extrude option here so you know I'm gonna go ahead and delete solidify go into turn off my x-ray mode so choose this edge then this one e for extrude then instantly press s I'm bringing it in roughly until you're happy with the thickness I'm gonna make it about there because I know that I want to have some other insets further up the hilt the front of the hilt left click e y move it in and I want to extrude this. I want to move it actually. So come over here, bring it all the way back like that. Um, scale Y zero to scale it on the, to scale it vertically on the Y axis. Turn snaps on. I've actually got mine set to a hotkey of Control Alt and S. You, know, you guys and gals can put it for your quick favorites or whichever you prefer, whichever is easier. Bring it in to this edge here to snap it there. Okay, so now this is where you might want to use a bit of thinking. Okay, this is where you might want to do a bit of pre-planning because say for example, in the beginning of the video, you saw that I had an inset in here. Now, if I try to, um, I'll show you what will happen very quickly. Left click, right click. You don't have to follow along. This is just to show you what would happen if we tried to use, try to do this. Control B to bevel it, move it in like that. Go into face, choose this face. 
choose that one. If I try to go ahead and along the normals, it's not going to work. It's not going to really do what we wanted to do. So this is where a bit of um, pre-planning comes in handy. So press Control R, left click, right click, S Y zero to scale that vertically on the zero axis, and then press Control B um, to bevel it out a little bit. I'm going to leave mine about that thick, and then what I want to do is um, I want to then making sure that I'm in face mode. Choose one face, come out of gizmo, choose this edge next to it with Alt held down and face along normals and then just extrude it into about, making sure that it's not clipping through about there roughly. That's pretty good for me. And now I want to have a bit of a nice arc in here as well. So just a subtle one because, um, you know, for example, Let's go ahead actually and click on this edge loop here. Um, just this entire ring here. And I'm gonna bring it back in, press Alt Z, come into the gizmo and just bring it past this point to about there. Because let's face it, with a lightsaber hilt, it wouldn't go that, that far back anyway. So bring it to about there. Okay, so now come out of extra mode and press Control R and maybe yeah, left click, right click. I prefer to bevel these sort of things myself. So control B, hold down shift to do it incrementally like that. And then we're just gonna scale this in. So scale it in about there like that. That's quite nice. Okay. And now this is where the magic happens again. Come into vertice mode, Alt Z to come into X-ray mode. Okay, and then we're gonna press control, shift, Alt S x and rotate it like that okay that looks quite nice now we need to come in in and sort out our edges add some sharp edges so go into edit mode edge mode by pressing two click one edge come out of gizmo click one edge choose one next to it right click mark sharp you don't have to do this it all depends on the style that you're going for I've actually got Mark Sharp set as a quick favorite. So right click, um, Mark C, Mark Sharp. I've got them set as quick favorites. Same over here, hold on, Alt, Q, Mark Sharp. Um, come over here, hold on, Alt, choose one next to it, Q, Mark Sharp. I might want to bevel this a little bit. So click that, hold on, Alt, click that, press Control B, hold on, Shift, bevel it a little bit about there like that. Choose this edge, hold on, Alt, choose that one, Q, mark sharp. Again, it all depends on the style that you're going for. I think I'm gonna make this sharp as well because I want this to kind of look a little, a little bit separate. So click that edge, hold on, Alt, click that one, hold down, Shift, Alt, and click the, the opposing one, Q, mark sharp. Okay, so now once you're happy with where you know you want your sharps to be, we can come out of edit mode, come down here, Auto smooth, 180 degrees, right click, shade smooth. And there we go. I know it's not initially looking exactly how it did in the start of the video, but I like to mix things up a little bit, you know, I like to sort of, um, yeah, especially for quick tutorials like this. So if you have any questions, um, you know, please leave them in the comments. Um, any suggestions um, again if I'm talking too fast if I'm going too fast then let me know if you feel like you have benefited from this tutorial then please feel free to leave a like and subscribe and um, I will see you in the next tutorial thank you